Hi there, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate oh, my 2. My legs are just aching. I've never walked so much in my life. Can, can we rest now, please? We just rested, Ari. The problem is, whenever you're cast to lesser restoration, the cleric gets fatigued. Oh, talking about lesser restoration, I guess Minsk probably has to relearn his spells now. Mm hmm. Too bad. Or oh, maybe Fireblade, just in case we have to fight some trolls. Yes, I'm not it going shall to rest be. again though. Not now. So we have lots of items. We will visit the adventurers Consider it done. and sell a few of them. Although I'm not going to go to the to that guy, and then I will probably have 20,000 gold coins quite soon. But I will do a few more quests, at least all I can get, before actually, you know, progressing with the story here. I hope I will do my best. Ribald Bartman at your service. So well, well, what do we have? Stuff of fire. Sell it. Can't sell that. You can sell all that. And no, oh, eighteen thousand. Not enough. Yeah, we have 20,000. Oh, wait. Okay. Good, good, good. I wonder, do you have anything that would prevent level drain? I could get the stuff of Rinder. Nah, not yet. No. What do we have here? And that's just the stuff that I sold him. Fine. We leave. Greetings, good customer. A pearl to you. What do you have? The Kwan's Surf Blade. This sword was the weapon of choice of the famous Gitzerai the Khan. The Khan was killed by a powerful entity while working for a creature known as the Nameless One. Yeah, of course, we know this one from Planescape Torment. Memor able to memorize one extra first, second, third and fourth level mage spell. Not bad. Yeah, what the fuck? But it's not usable by a mage. So I guess it's a weapon for a cleric then. It was very good in the hands of the Khan, it had special abilities. Um, the more powerful the Khan became, the more powerful, the stronger the blade got. 
So it was a very good weapon for him. For someone else. The Sensei amulet. This amulet originates in the city of Sigil, where it was forged by the Society of Sensation. It was given out to the most loyal sensets to protect them when they traveled the plains looking for new experiences. Plus 5 to hit points, plus 2 to charisma, permanent protection from evil. Hmm. I want something that. We. Plate of Baldoran. Hal Harmonium Halberd. Tarmonian is infection based out of the planar city known as Sigil. She has lots of stuff from Planescape Torment. Plus 1 to strength, minus 1 to intelligence and wisdom. That's not worth it. It's a plus three weapon. Mm. The Sword of Balderon is a plus two sword. Rope of Vin Vecna. We improves casting speed by four. This rope doesn't even have close. Eh? This rope doesn't even have close to the power that the two famous artifacts it should probably come. This rope doesn't even come close to the power that the two famous artifacts the hand and eye of Vecna possess. Still, from simply being worn by the powerful lich, the rope absorbed enough magic energy energies to become a potent magic item. AC base is set to 5 and it improves casting speed by 4 which is very useful. Gotta give you that. We keep that in mind. I'm not gonna buy it now, though. What do you have? I don't usually speak to the likes of you, but hello. But we need a lower resistance for you, my girl. Restoration. Nice, but it's a cleric spell. Can't be scribed. Symbol death and symbol star near level 8. I don't have to do that right now, thank you. But here are a few nice spells. Oh, I can't buy them all. You can't buy them all. You can buy them. Thank you. Guess we can. Mm, might well. I thought we could probably drop the club. Okay. Already having this one. Peasant. So, we can sell a few spells here. 
all of them please thank you yeah I'm gonna sell the haste too do you still have another one of those nice little um, sunburst sunfire thingies yes buy one for her too I guess the sunburst would come in handy if we fight uh, vampires a sunfire is like a fireball and explosive burst of flame which detonates with a low roar and delivers damage proportional to the level of the wizard who cast it 1d6 point of damage for each level of experience of the spellcast up to a maximum of 15d6 the wizard gestures with his hand and the entire area around him erupts in flames striking all except for the caster creatures failing their saving throw each suffer full damage from the blast those who roll successfully uh, saving throws manage to dodge fall flat and roll aside each receiving half okay So I'm just rearranging the projectile somewhat. What's that here? Mm, do we need that? I don't think so. And we still have... Maybe we should buy a few. What is my task? Sling stones. Didn't really got the spell that I wanted though. The adventure marks the finest shopping in all of Faerun. Widest selection, lowest prices, and nary a fancy illustration. Just the goods, fair and plain. There's another shop here. Spells Hello, friends. Might I have a word away from the ears of others? I would impart a fine bit of business your way. Would you know? And what might this be? Well, truthfully, it is not for me to say. At least, not in full measure. My mistress would have words with you about concerns you have no doubt developed on your own. She has watched you for a time, though she is not the only one. Those that you are asked to trust spy as openly or more so, and she offers a solution to your problems of privacy, among others. She is worthy of your trust. If you feel worthy of hers, come to the graveyard district in the near future, and she will speak her offer. Make your visit after the sky has darkened. She will not be there before then. Yeah, probably before because she, you know, bursts into flames when the sunlight hit her. And who shall I say has sent me? I do not wish to be seen as an intruder. I am Valen, but she will not need as such when you arrive. She will know it is you. Farewell. We shall meet again. You gotta be kidding. I'm not siding with vampires. Well, maybe wow, if they... An fuck you! Maybe if Buffy vouches for them, then I could think about it. But until she does that, I don't think so. <sighs> Everybody talks to me here. This really annoys me somewhat. 
I didn't think I'd be talking to you lots again, but I do what my uncle Galen says whenever I can. Anyway, Galen Bale wants you to come to see him before you go making any rash decisions. Says he wants to sweeten the deal. How would he know I have a decision to make? Am I being followed? Don't look at me, I just do what I'm told. He said to tell you that the offer is sweeter, so here I am. Anyway, just go see Galen before you go see <coughs> your new contact. I only get paid if I get you to see him, and it won't take long, you know. Can I now please go after my business here? Yes. To the spell store. No. So yeah, I'm not siding with vampires. Unless Buffy says it's okay. Galump, the bookkeeper. What do you have, Mr. Galump? A nice spell for me. Welcome to my humble establishment. Right, Jerry Day, eh, sir? Yeah. What do you have? Nothing that I really need. We can buy one of those. Where is it? I didn't buy it, did I? The customer is always right. No. Ah, <sighs> well. Sunfire. You have it too. <laughs> Hold monster or low resistance? Low resistance. And a sunfire. Okay. On my honor. Uh, since that nice little uh, necromancer said that the sphere was to be mine now that he died, I'm gonna take a look at it again. You coming? Hmm. Let's see what we can do with that thing now. I still have those two hearts. Maybe I can travel to a nice place. Ah, probably not. It said something about a planar sphere never traveling again. That was here in the slums. Entrance to the sphere. Very well.
aqui. You must gather your part. Okay. You are welcome in my sight. Oh, Reina, who are you? It seems you are now master here, a wizard of great power. I ask you to turn your will towards getting my fellow knights and I back to where we belong. And just how do you expect me to do that? I don't know. I am not knowledgeable in magic. But there must be some way. If you do not know, at least make some inquiries. I beg of you. This is not our home. I will see what can be done. Now leave me be. This is all we can ask. We have little choice. Oh yes, the Knights of Solamnia. They're still in here. Wanna join my party? Okay, someone teleports. I had thought you would be taller. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, we're not. We don't know who he is. We will not threaten him unless we know more. I beg your pardon. Have you I met? am here as a contact and a master, and I will thank you for keeping your tone civil. I am Teos, and I have been assigned to offer you a special deal. It seems like everyone is gonna offer me deals these days. You just recently took this sphere, and by all rights, we should have it. But my superior said to offer an alternative. It would seem we have need of you. I have just killed some of your number. Why would a cowled wizard offer me anything? I readily agree there is little reason to trust, but I have been ordered to speak with you regardless. It would seem that the events as of late are to be re-evaluated. Oh really? I am told that member Tolgarius is no longer to be spoken of. Either he was working for himself or something of greater importance requires it to be so. In any case, as distasteful to me as it is, I am to inform you of the details of the partnership to which you are now a member. You assume a great deal. I was not aware I was joined with you. You have no real choice in the matter. It is a simple bit of business, one that is not without benefit. Listen to what I say and you will see what I mean. You are here in possession of a notable artifact, this fear. That you neutralized it was of, was of great service and apparently enough for my superiors to overlook the past. That said, they would like to offer an exchange. You may operate in this awkwardly placed sphere if you agree to certain duties for the cowled wizards. I'm listening. It is simple. You may have this place and act freely as a mage. In exchange, you do the odd task for us, acting when we can't because of political or other reasons. There may be more conditions on the offer, but I don't know them. Take my word for whatever you think it is worth and realize that it is best for all involved. You speak of trust when you are the ones who took a win from me? Return here, then we will talk. Imwen? I don't know the name. This is a large city and the cold wizards have many subdivisions and such. Take me cause of unauthorized magic use? I will inquire to my superiors about her if you wish. Until then, I would advise that you act in accordance with this agreement. This is all to be discreet, you understand so much that I am forbidden from telling my fellow cold wizards. They will treat you as they always have. If you display magic in the street, you will be censored accordingly. No, I already have a license. The lives of a few brethren are apparently an acceptable price for your assistance. <laughs> you oh God! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and I'm going to be affiliated with those bastards. <laughs> Shit. I cannot say I agree with this, but it's not my place to say. Ah, uh, prove your intent. Help me return the Solemnic Knights to their proper plane of existence. They are no doubt some 
unfortunate travelers that got caught in this fear? No one here will miss them. I say kill them and save the headache. But if you must help them, I suggest speaking with Rybald at the adventurous mod. He seems to have all sorts of things for unique situations such as this. Beyond that, the most noble order of the Radiant Heart deals with knights. I do not. I just... Uh, just one of the problems you are sure to encounter in this place. Oh. Okay. Okay, back to the adventurous mob then. Let's talk to Rybald. So we could... Yeah, they, they could become paladins, obviously. I would rather send them home if that's possible. Okay. Back to the promenade then. Oh wait. We first have to walk As down the stairs. Who are you? Beggar. Oh, what's in that barrel? One gold coin. Do you want a gold coin? Arms, arms for the poor. I can spare a coin. I just found one. It was in the barrel next, be right behind you, actually. Well, okay. Let's give the others one. The you other ones of also a coin. Sword? I have nothing to value. Please let me be. Yeah. Okay, back to the promenade. It's night. Doesn't seem to matter though. It shall be. Weird. Oh, a request for help. Oh, I don't know. How is that oh, sorted by name? I get it. Oh, we have lots of quests. Animal trouble in trade meat. A friend of Quail needs help. Collect the fee for Gale and Bale. Collect the fee for Gale and Bale. Investigate the deaths in Uwa Hills. Mardo wants to make a deal with the village. A request for help. Oh well, we have lots of things to do. One is still missing. Jahira. Yeah, women are always late. Consider it done. Rival Bartman at your service. <sighs> I need to send a group of Solemnic Knights back to their plane. Can you help? Well, now that is something. I am not asked every day. Another plane, you say? Strangers indeed. Please, if you can help, I would appreciate it. Hmm, I may have something that fits your bill perfectly. Yes, yes, I believe I do. I know a mage, a fine mage. She has been known to do a favor on occasion, yes. The more I think of it, the more I am sure she can do ex exactly as you have asked. Ah, uh, that is excellent. What are we standing over here, around here then for? Yes, you can do exactly as you have asked for a fee. I recall her banishing a planar creature before. That was quite costly. I tend to kill those. That was a single creature. And as you say you have multiple ones, I think the Enterprise will cost you, oh, 9,000 gold. 9,000 gold, that is outrageous. That depends on who you ask. These knights of yours might think it quite reasonable. Take it or leave it. Fine, I'll take it. There goes my money. A pleasure doing business with you. You are in that wondrously odd sphere, aren't you? I'll have my friend uh, come by there tomorrow. How did you know where I needed your mage to go? 
I have ears all around about town. Besides, where would planar creatures tend to be? The weirdest place in town, I'll rage. <laughs> Go on, she'll be there tomorrow. Yeah, well, great. Um, I guess it's tomorrow now. It was dark when we came in here, wasn't it? I don't really know. Hmm? Oh well. We return to the slums. There goes my money. I'm down to 7,500 again. Oh well. What? Oh, we entered from the other side. What is that? The copper coronet. Temple of Ilmata, entrance to the sphere. Hm. I await your word. There are many places to explore. You must gather your party before venturing forth, I know. It shall be. So, but apparently there's nobody here. What do we have here? The power core, the navigator's room, furnace room. Hmm. Maybe we have to rest? Oh well. Maybe it, I really have to wait a day. We will find out. But we will end this video now. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.